Welcome back to part three of our B7 4.1 series. We just finished driving our buggy for the very first time in part two and discovered we have way too much traction in the front end. So for part three, we are going to focus on our tires and specifically trying out different alterations to the tires by snipping off knobbies, sanding them down completely, and we'll even try CA glue on the tires. Will it make a difference on our high bike carpet track? Let's find out. Now in part two, you guys gave us some really good tips and recommendations on how to improve our front tires, either by cutting down the outside knobbies or sanding them down or adding super glue. So today, we're gonna try some of those. Now there was a good batch of you guys who also recommended we try out the Cactus Fusion front tires, including pro driver Michael Orlowski, who left us a comment and who has a YouTube channel where he posts really good info that you might wanna check out if you're interested. Now, unfortunately, the Cactus Fusion front tire isn't in stock, so we can't try it out right now. Look at that, that is, that is one flat looking. But we still have things that we can try out with these tires, which I'll show you here in a second, because we bought some stuff. Protec also makes B74 carbon fiber side guards. I didn't know that, but I had to have them. Might try those out later. Not today with tire testing. Oh, new straight scissors. Look at, look at how long that is. I don't have any straight scissors. Okay, this is the AKA tire break-in tool. So we're gonna use this today with our tires and then to go along with that, this is the CRC. It's like a sanding stick with two separate ends on it with different grit levels. Oh, aluminum, aluminum turnbuckle wrench. We have a 13.5 motor for our buggy because that's what they're racing out there in four wheel drive. We're going to leave our 6.5 turn modified motor in the buggy right now to do our tire tests so we can push the car a little harder. And then lastly, we did get some tires. These are the front cactus tires. So what our plan is here is we're gonna use this AKA tire break-in tool, put it in our driver. This thing has a 12 millimeter hex on it to attach your tire. So once you put it in your power driver, you can get it spinning. And then with our sanding tool, we're gonna to remove the inside and the outside knobbies on our wide stagger rib tires. Then for our second test, we're going to apply a bead of CA on the sidewall of the tire. And then for our third and final test, we're gonna take that CA glue and put a bead on the top outside and the top inside edges of the tire where these knobbies used to be. So we'll have a nice slick edge on the tire on both sides and that will be a really good test to try. Next, we're gonna do the same three tests with these brand new front cactus tires. And then there's one more thing that I wanna try and it's going to be to remove the outside and the inside edge on the rear cactus tires. A lot of people have commented that that takes away some of the edginess. So we're gonna perform that test last. So that's a lot of work. If we can get through all those tests, Today, that would be fantastic. Feels, feels a bit, it's uneasy. I mean, it's drivable. Whoa, got on two wheels there. Oh, it feels good. Just finished driving two or three minutes worth with our glued sidewall wide stagger ribs. That was the best the car has felt so far. Got the glue on the top. I tried to butt the glue up right against this first row of lugs right here. So in conclusion with these wide stagger ribs, sanding them didn't do a whole lot until we glued the sidewall. We didn't traction roll once. Once we glued the sidewall and we hit an 18.8 .8 lap. Once we added glue to the very top though, man, it really numbs down the initial steering. So it's not so aggressive. We hit our fastest lap of an 18.3 and again, not one traction roll. And up until this point when we were using the tires as they are, that was the best the car has ever been.
Holy, it's super edgy. Holy smokes. Way edgier than the, uh, those wide stagger ribs were. We've got our cactus front tires all sanded down and because these tires were so aggressive, we just immediately went to test number two and glued the sidewall of these cactus tires. Really aggressive when you initially turn in. All right, here's our last test with the front cactus tires. We have added glue to the top inside and outside and we glued the backside uh wall here still no shortage of steering whoa diffed out there got up on three wheels so the front cactus tires didn't work out for us they're really aggressive super edgy lots of traction rolling there's lots of bicycling and getting up on two wheels with the car it's really hard to drive, even after all the sanding and trimming that we've done. So, that's okay. These are probably great tires in other applications, but let's move on. So this is the last test we have to do. We finished trimming up the rear cactus tires with the inside and the outside row of knobbies gone. Okay, we put down a couple laps. I'm not really sure I can feel a difference in the rear tire trimming. Maybe the rear end has just slides a little bit. All right, guys, we just got back to A-Main after finishing up those tire tests and our Pro-Line, Pro-Line, our Schumacher Fusion. They're the Cactus Fusion. They showed up. Look at that. That is, that is one flat looking interesting tire. So it's got like a stagger. It's got like a wedge on the edge, a wedge on the edge with lots of little pins down the center. Here's the cactus tire that we just hacked up. Look how much, look how round that cactus tire is. Just burp, I mean, it's got a mohawk, but it's still, it's just naturally rounded where that cactus fusion, it almost looks like it's indented in. <laughs> what? Really edgy tire. Not nearly as bad as the cactus front tire, even after we hacked up the cactus, but the fusion's a little edgy. I think we can improve it though. Man, the corner speed feels fantastic, but I'm still bicycling it a lot, going up on two wheels. Let's add some glue. All right, Cactus Fusions with the outside sidewall glued. So far, I'm really liking these tires. There's, it feels like they have a, a wider spectrum of usability. And then there's this little narrow band of edginess when you've got too much servo throw. So it's like you turn the dual rates down it's still too edgy, see that? I need some glue on the top. All right, last test. Eighteen flat. To all those people that said try the Fusion front tires, thank you. These tires, once you trim them and glue them up, are the fastest tires that we've used on this buggy at that carpet track. And what that really means is our B74.1 is easier to drive and we can comfortably push it harder on the track. Now these wide stagger ribs are exceptional tires. Once you trim them and glue them like we've done on the track, they're phenomenal. And I think they're actually a little easier to drive than these Fusions, but they're a little slower around the track. Now we actually gave somebody at the track these tires to try on his four wheel drive buggy. He was pitted across from us and saw what we were doing. 
So we gave him the tires to try out, and here's what he said about them. Yeah, Thanks, those are man. the best tires I've driven out here on the carpet yet. Really? Yes, by far. Wow. Close, dude. dude, that's awesome. Just those. That's cool right here. Dude, that's like the same ones I run on my two-wheel drive. Yeah, but he he drive them down and he glued up the edge to spin the edge. Oh. Dude, is that the new trick? I'm buying from him that's, right now. No, that's <laughs> he's like no. That is courtesy of all the people who commented on our videos. Dude, these are beautiful. Overall, trimming and gluing up these tires was really successful for us. The car is easier to drive, you can put down faster laps, and knowing that it's not gonna traction roll is a huge boost of confidence. And the work we put into this, to the sanding, to the gluing, it's really easy work to do. It's just a little time consuming. But it doesn't matter if this is your first day on the RC track or if you're a pro racer, anyone can make these changes to their tires. And it's free. Guys, we use this sidewall gluing technique outlined in this video. It's a great watch and I recommend you check it out. Guys, check out our links down below if you want any info on the products we used in this video. If you liked the video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave us any questions or comments down below. I'm Brett from A Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching. We broke our buggy. Yeah, it was the last thing we did on the track. <laughs> Broke nice and clean right at the hinge pin. Hinge pin looks nice and straight, nothing's bent. Just the arm. No biggie.